Yeah, hello scrappers. This is uh, yesterday's load. Brought in uh, the two side-by-side -side refrigerators there. Got the backs facing me. And then I got three wash machines. And I got an old, looks like a, a dishwasher there, but uh, stainless steel tub. So, I guess I'll get to tear that down. Oh yeah, and then uh, another part of that load was two old TVs, CRT TVs there. She had a barbecue grill. I probably could have thrown it up on top of the load, but oh yeah, and I got a just thinking now I put uh, on the load. I also had this upright freezer on there. I was thinking I had my little trailer there loaded down. Put the two side by sides up front and uh, the freezer on the back, and I had uh, all three uh, wash machines and dishwasher up here in the back of the truck. This is a load I just came in with. Got a bunch of old parts off old wagons down in here. I'm not sure what all's in there. Some lawnmower blades, a lot of little plumbing stuff. And I picked up that refrigerator from one woman, and then I got the hot water tank and all this other from another guy. And this guy I picked up from years ago. He had a bunch of different stuff. Started out just picking up a TV, and I really didn't do TVs. Got this well tank, bladder's bad. So, back uh, a chipper and vacuum, leaf vacuum. He said the motor was bad on it, but then I got this power washer. He said it works, but it doesn't really have a lot of pressure, water pressure. But he said the motor runs. I thought, huh, interesting. So, what is that? Six horsepower motor. So I'm thinking, why can't I pull that motor off? Make sure it runs first. Pull that motor off of there and put it on that generator. Because that. Uh, this generator is supposed to work. It's just the motor has no uh, compression. See that, or I can go down and buy a Harbor Freight one. And that's just a five horse, it looks like. So that's what I've got so far. I gotta drive to another town here when I get this unloaded and pick up a riding mower, a slide, and probably some other stuff. And then I gotta stop by on the way back, uh, pick up a barbecue grill. My wife said I had a couple more calls. The guy I got all this stuff from, he's still got a cement mixer, so I need to get a battery on this tonight for the winch. And he's got a big round tank and a few other items, a ladder, aluminum ladder, extension ladder, so I'll run back out there tomorrow morning and pick that up and, and schedule these other calls tomorrow afternoon or something. Which I'll call them later when I get done running. Try to get all the running done and then I can come home and relax. But I got a lot of little stuff in the back of the truck so I'm going to have to probably find me an empty five gallon bucket and drag a wheelbarrow or two because it uh, looks like a lot of short iron. I got some fence wire and bob wire. I don't know. I'll either put that down the washout or throw it in the... because our scrap yards won't take it. They don't like it. So I'll have, probably just throw that in the dumpster, probably. Hate to throw metal in the dumpster, but the scrap yards won't take that, so i got to do something with it. But I'm going to get off here, and I'll pick this up when I get back with the next load. So, happy scrapping. Hey, hello, scrappers. Thought I'd make a little video of uh, what I brought in the last couple days. I brought this in. This little spring tooth. That was part of the first load yesterday, and uh, the other part is right over here. Got this uh, disc, not in the best shape. It's got a little problem right down there. I guess you can see it. Probably get over here a little better. Yeah, now you can see it a little better. So the front row is messed up. I got another disc over there 
I think the front's messed up and the back is good. So, may have to see if I can't modify this or if I decide to use it, I could probably hook onto it and just take this front part off and just use the back disc possibly. But uh, or just that one side. Go round and round and round. Anyway, that's the uh, this is the first load, these two pieces. Brought them in on my car hauler. Drag them up there sideways. And then I'll shut the camera off because I gotta go all the way up to the garden area by the shop. Yeah, and that's uh way up there by that tree. So I'll go ahead and pause this and I'll be right back. And here's part of the second load that I brought in. So I got a little bit of metal here, a couple metal file cabinets. So I cleaned some of this out, we'll get to that later. Here's this metal tabletop. And then uh Got this load of tin, and then there's another little farm implement up underneath there. Hey, you can kind of see it sticking out here. It's got the spikes. So I pulled that up on here on the second load. Pulled that up using a winch, and then we pile all this tin on top. You can see there's a lot of it there. Pretty much two stacks. Look at it from the back. So that's going to be my chore today. Get a little breeze, so it's always fun to handle this stuff in the breeze. Debating whether to just put, get in here, mow this down real quick, and throw some four by fours down there. And drag it over to that side. Of course, then I got to go over those two posts, but from that implement, or throw them on top of the top of this trailer here, which I could still throw the four by fours down there. And then, uh, if I decided I wanted to move it later, of course, I don't know if I probably wouldn't be able to move it anyway. I was thinking I could uh, get under there with the forks on my tractor. But it probably it probably wouldn't lift all that weight. There's probably a lot of weight right there. And uh, I'll show you what I brought in today and a little bit of what I unloaded yesterday. Okay, here's part of what I brought in on that second load. Got some light fixtures here. Looks like an uh, outside receptacle. Uh, not sure what all I got. Another receptacle there, power strip. Got some copper tubing right there. And then uh, got an eight foot, eight foot light right there with bulbs. I brought those in on a different load. And then I brought a milk crate full of stuff. It was in a tub, but the tub fell apart. Uh, where did I put that? Oh, there it is. Got a, a pressure pressure gauge in there. A deal for a tap. Get some more breakers down in there. All kinds of all kinds of goodies to dig through. And there's a this chain it's a pretty good decent chain got a good hook on this end now this end I'll have to cut a few links off of it it's kind of thin there okay now I'll take you right over here and uh, show you what I've got over here brought this uh, workbench in that was on the trailer and then uh, this wagon people used to have a horse act in the carnival or the circus got this handle on it kind of interesting handle and then uh, it's got that bar I guess that bar works as a brake when you put the handle up and what's really nice about this 
and this was sitting in the barn so that everything is dry it's got a bunch of horse blankets in there he said there's no reason I shouldn't be able to get 20 30 a piece out of those <coughs> excuse me so I'm gonna have to throw a tarp over that because we're expecting some rain pretty soon and I really don't have anywhere to put it unless I put it inside my shop I guess I could and then you know what should I what kind of a price should I put on this metal cart so it's got the two wheels there pretty fairly wide Moscow Circus yeah these people are from Russia nice elderly couple he's like 68 now he's telling me and he's fixing to retire here pretty quick another thing I brought in now I got some more light fixtures here I got all the bulbs in the back seat some garden hose well, you can always use a garden hose looks like a I guess that's part of a hay feeder it's tubing so it's, can't, it's not a fireplace insert or anything got a nice washer and dryer and I got the the drawers down underneath them I think you might be able to see that barely see them down in there washer doesn't work dryer is supposed to work though so I think I'll try to get that drawer off the bottom of that washer scrap the washer and uh, see if I can't sell the drawer and then sell the dryer I might take the sell the drawer separately maybe pull them both off there sell them as a set And more anyway that's what I've been busy with the last couple of days so I'm gonna I had to pull the pins out of my hand uh, the hinges on my ramp to load that up because the back tires are too wide for the ramp so I had to pull the two pins so I could get a little gap between them couldn't go too big because of the front wheels but loaded on easy unloaded real easy so I unloaded it down the ramp by myself, so it didn't get away. Of course, once that back tire hit the dirt, it didn't, <laughs> didn't go too far. Okay, I'm going to get off here and get busy and put this back together, drop the trailer, then uh, unload the washer and dryer. And then uh, get out there and get that one unloaded. And it's already 1.15 in the afternoon, so... We'll get, catch you guys on the next one. If you're enjoying these videos and you're not a subscriber, I would be you know, tickled pink if you would subscribe. Always trying to get more subscribers. I think everybody on YouTube is. So, And I'm looking at another truck right now. That's old boy's got. It's a... Uh, 2004 Dodge it's got the 5.7 Hemi in it it's got 83,000 miles so pretty low mileage mainly I gotta think he just pulled his horse trailer around or used it to go get hay and uh, so it doesn't have a whole lot of mileage on it, it's an old farm truck but it's got a gooseneck ball in the in it and with that motor and it's a three quarter ton so it'd be a good, good scrapping one and then I can probably get me a hitch and uh, mount it for fifth wheels. And then I can get busy on that trailer. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to get off here and let you guys go. I'm dragging this out. So yeah, bye-bye.